Greetings, everyone. 2K Sports brings you the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Western Conference battles always fun. This time, it's the Los Angeles Lakers intent on protecting home court. This the first chance to take a look at the Nuggets this season. Last season, they couldn't get the edge in the matchup as they went one and two in the season series. Yeah, two conference rivals. I mean, they'll play each other a total of four times this season. Well, yeah, expect this first game to be a filling out of sorts. Lots of in-game adjustments. I mean, should be an interesting matchup as the year progresses. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Down low, it's Millsap and Jokic. Rivers out there with Murray. And it's Gordon in at the three side. Side. He feeds it to LeBron. Down to five on the shot clock. Davis gets a wide open look. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Davis has got the first basket of the game for the Lakers. A meteoric assist for Luke Wall. Two years before signing his coach for the Lakers, he was a part-time assistant with their development team. Now the youngest head coach in the league. He's almost two years younger than Kobe Bryant. Murray, no good. Outside, Davis. There's the feed to Schroeder. The shot from 20 feet away. The shot comes out, and the Nuggets going the other way. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And really, man, they played their hearts out. M missed a couple opportunities down the stretch, and, and that was the difference. Absolutely right, Greg. That's all it takes. A play here, a play there, a detail that isn't accounted for, it stings. Working the in-between area, the kind of look that can get you into a rhythm early. Yeah, I think he was surprised. He, he was so open. I mean, that's just a defensive breakdown. From deep LeBron, and again, it's the Lakers from deep. Uh, you got to respect the deep ball from James. Terrific at getting his feet under him before firing. Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Schroeder. Now here's Murray. He's coming off a 25-point game against New Orleans. And where I thought he was out of his mind was the playmaking. Time and time again, he set his teammates up for the easy buckets. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Caldwell Pope kicks it over to Schroeder. Outside, Davis. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. And it's six points for Davis. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. Now here's Rivers. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under 10 points a game. Here's Jokic. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Andre Drummond picks one up. And last season, how about the jump to true stardom that, that Jokic was able to make? There, there was a stretch where every game he just looked more and more incredible. Truly gave this team, I think, a franchise player in the blink of an eye. And for so many fans, Greg, of Jokic, it wasn't a surprise to see his play blossom last season. Yeah, and boy, did he. Jokic is so skilled for a big man, having played point guard growing up. Still very young and looks to be a star for a long time. Now here's LeBron. He had a 36-point outing in the last game against Phoenix. Oh, well, his rebounding stood out, too. He gave them a big lift on the board. For three, Murray, and another miss by Denver. Lakers leading by three. Out left to the wing. Nobody near Schroeder. Hits it from three-point range. Schroeder's got himself on the board with three there. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Jokic kicks to Murray. And he banks in the layup. Murray's got his first bucket in this one. And the confidence 
from Murray. Just so efficient from the interior. Caldwell Pope outside. It's tipped. Gordon against LeBron. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. James has got five. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Well, you like to see a little more physical nature on defense. You have to make him earn those points at the strike. Now here's Rivers. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Schroeder outside. Caldwell Pope up top. He's guarded by Rivers. That shot by Caldwell Pope. No good. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. And Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Rivers. Six points for Jokic. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. LeBron with the bucket. The Nuggets trail by six. Millsap a screen on Schroeder. Murray kicks to Millsap. It's stolen by Davis. To the middle. And that one drops. Eight points for him. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Now here's Murray. He's covered closely. Rivers with it. Picked up by Davis. Now Rivers. Six on the shot clock. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And when you talk about just a natural basketball player, I think you got to envision a guy like Paul Millsap. He just does it all. He's got the skill level and versatility at that power forward position. And in this league today, you have to be able to impact the game the way he does. And he can't get the first one. And you look at all the different things that Paul Millsap does for you on the court, Greg. Don't forget about the defensive end of the floor, too. Yeah, great point. And all defense selection, uh, one of the great big men in league history in terms of getting steals. Just unbelievable hands. And you know what? He epitomizes consistency when you look at the course of his career. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. That's going to send Dennis Schroeder to the free throw line. It's going to be on Jokic. Lakers shooting their first free throw of the evening. And when the Nuggets are clicking on offense, Greg, they are a joy to watch. You know, they are, and one reason is because they're one of the better passing teams in the league. And right near the top in terms of assists per game last season. And all players on this roster at all positions look to make that extra pass to get an easy bucket. And, and let's check out some stats. Here are the numbers for Nikola Jokic. He's around 14 points per game, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists. With him, you get so much, but his ability to lead the way with his scoring, probably his best attribute. Oh, an offensive juggernaut. I mean, he can just beat you in so many ways. You got to give it up for him. Here's Schroeder following the basket by Jokic. Drummond of screen. Davis with it. He's picked up by Milson. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. From outside, off the mark. The Nuggets trail by eight. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Rivers. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Dishes it to Millsap. Jokic sets the screen for Rivers. Just four to shoot. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Pass to Jokic. Second chance shot. He lays it in. Jokic has got 10 points. Well, he has put forth an outstanding effort on offense this quarter. He will need to keep it up if they really want to cut into this lead. James kicks to Davis. Over Millsap. And that one hits back iron. He gets some extra attention from the D on that trip. And it throws a shot off. 
Here's Gordon. His first attempt of the game finds the target. Now just a four-point Laker lead. And a lot of scoring here early on. This is the type of game the fans love to see. And the type of game that many coaches hate. Very little defense being played on either end. And look, he's not an easy man to defend. He'll get his points one way or another. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge, who was able to talk with head coach Luke Walton. Thanks, Kevin. He told me that when you're playing against a team as good as they are inside, you have to stop the easy looks. He said if they can keep them out of the paint, they'll be in good shape to win. Let's we'll see, Kevin. Back to you. All right, David. Thanks. Not a very consistent quarter for him in terms of the shoot. A putback. It's good on the putback. And it's an eight-point Laker lead. Something lit a fire under him this quarter. Their lead's safe as long as he's on the floor. Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Schroeder. Rivers dishes to Millsap. Jokic with a screen on Drummond. Shot by Gordon wide open. And he's good on the three ball. He has five. Oh, just a brick wall of a screen. Knocks the defender out of the play. They set the screen. Drummond passes to Schroeder. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Lakers lead by eight. And really setting the tone early with their three-point shooting. Denver calls timeout. And Chris, as your career progressed, your free throw shooting percentage jumped up about 20 points higher than when you started. It's not the case for a lot of players. Just how hard is it for a big man to improve their free throw shooting throughout their career? Okay, that's probably one of the things I'm proudest of is that I have a record for going from worse to that, that best improvement. And, and I worked out hard. I, I had a shooting coach, Buzz. Uh, we worked out every summer. I would take him everywhere with me, Kev. I mean, really? I would take this guy uh, to the club, to church, to a restaurant. To the, you know, he'd have to wait outside the bathroom. Everywhere I went that summer, I wanted him, you know, with me because uh, you, you have to focus and concentrate on it. You think about it, you have to change not only um, your mental habits, your repetition, but your thought process. So step one is the figuring out that shot. Step two is how many repetitions. Step three is can you get that in game time at Atmosphere. You really can't unless you punish yourself in the summer with running. So if you have to do a suicide, every one you miss, or you know, it just was just so much uh, work and intensity on it because you have to build up so much trust. Because the reason why guys shoot bad free throws, they don't trust it. They shoot a different way every time. And it was fun becoming better at that. But you know, that's probably one of the toughest things I've ever done is get better at shooting free throws because of the concentration and the time allowed it to try to improve. Morris kicks to Bosch. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Bosch, the screen. Here's Porter. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Lakers setting a record last season for the most losses by 35 points or more in NBA history. Yeah, fair to say that's not the kind of history you want to set. But Coach Luke Walton is accustomed to being on the winning side of those kind of beatdowns in Golden State. The team made a lot of moves in the offseason to try and avoid that again this year. Pass to Kuzma. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Kuzma's got seven points. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, you see it now on the scoreboard. Yeah, particularly on offense, where they've been completely in sync. Terrific first quarter. Now, here's Porter. He's coming off a 10-point game against New Orleans. Oh, well, his rebounding stood out, too. He gave them a big lift on the board. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. And he sinks the second. And really, the Nuggets, a stronger team than many had predicted last season. One area that troubled them was the defensive end. And when they would lose, it was usually by being unable to come up with consistent stops. And it's in there. Gasol's got his first basket of the night. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Morris kicks to Porter. Over Harrell. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. And for the Nuggets and their defensive issues, Greg, a lot of it stemmed from their lack of rim protection. Yeah, and the inability to challenge shots in general. 
for that matter. And they also had problems applying pressure and forcing turnovers as a team at the bottom of the league in terms of turnovers forced. The Lakers have shot just one free throw earlier, one for one in the game. And there aren't too many big men more dependable than Gasol. He's a skilled passer who can operate out of that high post, but also give you a little rim protection if you need it. Now, here's Bosch. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. That's just not quite tight enough on him to impact the shot. He got a good look on that one. So it's the Lakers now. It's a 13-point game. There's the dish to Matthews. Stolen by McGee. Morris with the ball. From deep. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We come back right after this. And now a chance to hear from Chris Bosh about what it meant to him. To I was obsessed with the NBA as a What a great cut from Chris Bosh. That's, that's the kind of guy you can't help, Greg, but love for his attitude and ability to be, you know, in touch with that kid he once was. I know you played the same way. Chris Bosh is living the dream like you did and loving it. That's a great point, Kevin. And I think most of the guys in the league feel that same way. I mean, they may not be able to say it or articulate it as smoothly as Chris does, sure. but, but inside every NBA player is a kid who's still thrilled to wear the uniform and play the game they love. Well, not exactly a close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. I mean, you saw it. That barrage of threes has them grooving here after one. Well, there's not enough defensive pressure on the perimeter. We'll see in the second quarter if that gets correct. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got Matthews. Marcus Saul is out there with Montrez Harrell. And it's Kuzma in at the shooting guard. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. After the basket by Los Angeles. Steps back and fires. Rebound by Harrell. Los Angeles leading by 13. Passes it to Kuzma. McGee with the block. Porter against Matthews. And Porter, here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Covered by Morris. Here's Kuzma. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Denver the other way now. It's Barton on the wing. Kicks it to Morris. McGee a screen. On the wing, Porter over Gasol. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from Porter. How about the screen that frees him up, though, for the jump? Gasol dishes to Matthews. Gasol against McGee. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, Chris, as you look around the league and with all the great players in it, who would you like to have played with that's playing right now? Wow, that's, that's a tough one. I mean, you look at all the big fellas, I definitely would love to play with the Cousins or, or, or Davis. If you look at guards, I mean, how could you not want to play with Westbrook, Harden, or LeBron? I mean, I mean, I mean it's like telling the kid, going to a candy store, what, what candy do you want to pick? It might take him an hour. He might pass out just with the excitement. I, I don't know. There's so many great <laughs> players in this league, man. It's so hard to choose one. How about you just take any of the top ten and uh, whichever one I pick out of the hat, I, I play with them and be happy. I like that. How about in the past, guys you would have liked to have played with when you were playing the game? Wow, that's a good 
Late in my career, Kevin, I could have played with Tim Duncan. I've always thought what that would have been like Shaq, KG. Uh, it, would, it would have been yeah. other big players at that time when you needed two guys inside to play. So it definitely have been guys that I respect battling and going up against, and those would have been the first I would have looked to play with. But those, those guys come to mind first and foremost. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Oh, wide open look for Gasol. Drops in the tray. Gasol's got five points now this quarter. I don't know if that was by design or by accident, but the D not paying any attention to him. Barton kicks to Bosch. Out to Morris. Gasol with the steal. Matthews with it. Now guarded by Porter. Feeds it to McLemore. Takes it from 10. And there's Mark Gasol on the assist for McLemore. And that's now 11 points for Mark Gasol. The Nuggets trail by 16. Morris with the screen for Barton. And the pass to Morris. He dishes it to Bosch. To halt the run, so he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Well, the Lakers are enduring the worst five-year stretch in the franchise's history. They missed the playoffs in consecutive seasons only once, and that was back in the mid-'70s. Last season, their fourth straight in the lottery. Free throw good, Bosh. And the Lakers have always considered themselves a championship or bust type of franchise. Well, that mentality runs up against the reality of their situation. I mean, they seem to have accelerated the process with some draft fortune and free agent signings. I and mean, especially with Magic coming back, you know the Magic is back. This upcoming offseason will be a big one for them. Now, here's McLemore. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Five to shoot. Marcus Sol picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Green, he's checked in for Chris Bosch. Now here's Murray. D right on him. Pass to Jokic. Over Gasol. And too long on the shot. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, and getting right up on the jump shot. Here's Jokic. Count that bucket. Jokic has got 12 in the game. He's one of the guys having a solid game for them, but as a whole, they've been lacking. Schroeder kicks to Gasol. In the corner, it's James. Los Angeles with another miss. The Nuggets trail by 12. Murray with it. Now guarded by Schroeder. Pass to Jokic. There's the three. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And the precise passing of Murray. Really moving the ball well around the floor. LeBron kicks to Gasol. Over Jokic. And the Lakers with another miss. Uh, he can hit that fadeaway shot, but with the D on him, you can't blame him for attempting that shot. Now the feed to Murray. Jokic with a screen on Schroeder. Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Schroeder. Clock at four. They get it back. Green. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. That's what every team needs. Guys getting after it on the offensive board. Schroeder kicks to Gasol. For Jokic, got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. He played a very solid first quarter, and now he's taking it up a notch here in the second. Here's Rivers. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Over McLemore. Rebounded by the Lakers. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And I love the fact that they did such a good job of really reacting to what the defense was giving them. Yeah, all about IQ. You're right. They made smart in-game adjustments. I mean, they seemed a step ahead all night. No good with the triple. 
The Nuggets trail by nine. Murray with it now, guarded by Schroeder. Green with a screen for Gordon. Let's it go from deep. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Fires for three. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Murray. And that one is off. And it's the Lakers the other way. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for them. It's stolen by Green. Gordon inside. Covered by LeBron. Green kicks to Jokic. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And the Nuggets over the past few seasons have done a great job as an organization of collecting talent. And with that steady approach, they've been able to develop a star with Jokic. The Nuggets took a very disciplined approach to building this team. And you can see the depth they enjoy. And it all starts with the job this front office has done. And the first one drops. And still, Chris, a lot of games left. Talk about the marathon of an 82-game season. Boy, it seems like a lot. Man, you have to control your emotions. You have to control your energy. It is grueling. There's so many ups and downs in the seasons. There's so many momentum changes for you and for others that you have to keep a constant focus. And so 82 games, you know, college, that's about 30 games. And so if you're a rookie, you're playing about three of those seasons. And even if you're a veteran, you're going to get tired right before All-Star break. So how do you manage your body? How do you recuperate? How do you keep focus on those tough, cold nights during the winter? That all takes part in the being of becoming a great player. Yeah, real balancing act for sure. It is a balancing act. It's how do you figure out balancing your mind, balancing your focus, and then balancing your body, staying off your legs. Drummond, the screen, lobbed up there for Drummond, up high to stop the alley-oop. And when he gets himself into the right position, Drummond so powerful in terms of finishing at the rim. The only way to prevent that alley-oop is to keep him from getting to the launching pad in the first place. Here's Murray after the made shot from Andre Drummond. And here's Rivers. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And Jokic wide open. He shoots. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assist. A nice run they put together here to bring it a little closer. Well, they're not going anywhere. This is still very much of a ball game because of runs like that. But it's nice to have an option like him every time down the court. Now here's Murray. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Jokic a screen. Murray kicks to Green. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Now Murray. Jokic draws the double. Six to shoot. Jokic a screen. For three, Millsap. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got his third rebound tonight. He kicks it to Schroeder. Davis sets a screen. Inside and finished off by Davis. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Jokic. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Jokic has got 24 points. Davis sets a screen. There's the screen for three. Caldwell Polk. Jokic grabs the miss. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Frees him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. <laughs> the best laid plans, right? Well, I tell you right there, though, that's one they'll take every single time. And here's Caldwell Polk following Paul Millsap's three. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. Back to Davis. Here's Kuzma. Davis kicks it over to Schroeder. 
Davis setting the pick for Caldwell Pope. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Caldwell Pope's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Rivers against Caldwell Pope. Now here's Rivers. He's tightly guarded. He feeds it to Millsap. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. And a name that a lot of NBA teams were in on this past offseason was Paul Millsap. Uh, his ability to shoot from outside and play in the post was, was wanted all over the league. And the Nuggets were the team, ultimately, that was able to land him. Denver making a switch here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Jokic. Wash comes in for Jermichael Green. Will Barton, he's checked in for Rivers. And Morris subbed in for Murray. Here's Davis. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by two. He's given them a nice lift this quarter. The shots are falling for him. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Morris dishes to Barton. Bosch, the screen. Barton passes to Millsap. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. At one point, they led by 16. On the wing, he got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And we're through the first half of basketball here in what's been a good one. Lakers lead by two. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. Time for the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He had 16 points, five rebounds, and one steal. He struggled in their last game, but he's not having any problems tonight. Really good first half for him. He was right on the mark. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, one place they had the edge was on the offensive boards. They converted those extra possessions into points. Nothing is more demoralizing to a defense than forcing a miss and then giving up a second attempt. The offensive glass is going to pay big dividends for them. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. There's no excuse for letting a team drain that many threes on you. Come on, especially at such a high percentage. That means your perimeter defense is weak. They got to close out on the shooters. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. You look at Jokic in this game. He has been everywhere. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them. And really few four shots here so far. Terrific first half on offense. This is how you draw it up. We'll see if they can maintain that efficiency going forward. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Denver's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Taking a look at the Nuggets. Down low, it's Millsap and Jokic. Murray out there with Austin Rivers, and it's Gordon in at the small four. Some very slack defending. Playing with fire to leave him that open beyond the arc. Floats it up for James. An emphatic alley-oop jam. But all you have to do is lob it up to James. His timing on these alley-oops, incredible. It was beautiful the first time, but Under Armour showing us the replay of that tremendous alley-oop again. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Schroeder. Murray kicks to Millsap. Just five to shoot. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Millsap's got 12. And Millsap combines that, that physicality of a power forward with the skill set of a three. James kicks to Davis. Over Millsap. Rebound by the Nuggets. The D a little slow to get in his face. They're fortunate it didn't cost him. Gordon dishes to Millsap. Rivers against Caldwell Pope. So they take the lead. 
Rivers has got his first basket of the night. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, even if they don't come away with the win, they still have to be satisfied with how they made this a game again. For three, Caldwell Pope. Here's Davis. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. Rivers kicks to Murph. Passes it to Jokic. Over Davis. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And, and you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. LeBron James on the wing. Dishes it to Drummond. Back to LeBron. And the shot's good after hitting off the rim. And it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. Rivers with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Jokic with a screen on Drummond. Out left to the wing. Murray for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Drummond's got his third rebound on the night. Davis the pass to Schroeder. The dish to LeBron. Drummond with a screen on Gordon. Back to Schroeder. Clock at four. Caldwell Pope for three. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Jokic with his screen on Davis. Floats one up. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket for Murray. Oh, look at the soft touch on the teardrop. Coach Luke Walton is coming from the 73-win Warriors team of 2016. He took over a Lakers team that has just finished off the worst season in franchise history. Quite a contract. And the Lakers with some changes. Gasol comes in for Andre Drummond. And it's Montrez Harrell in for Anthony Davis. The Nuggets trail by four. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Jokic with his screen on Caldwell Pope. Let's it go from 11. Rivers can't get it to go. And Walton as interim with the Warriors. Got 39 wins coaching just half the season in Golden State. Chris, how many games did he win last season in Los Angeles? Uh, about half that number. I mean, it's a project. They got to build it up from the ground up. Millsap kicks to Murph. Millsap a screen. Jokic on top. Back to Murray. Six on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Jokic. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Jokic has got 26. And look, he's been so dependable in this game, taking nothing but good shots. Millsap with the steal. Now here's Murray. He's guarded close. Kicks to Millsap. Gordon with it. He's got eight. Takes a three. And Millsap sends it in. And, and great effort on the boards. And what a mean yeah. <laughs> that was, Gary. I mean, you just will not see him ever quit on a play. That guy is a handful. You've got to have a body on him, Clark, at all times. And how relentless is this guy? If you're the defense, he's the first one you're looking to block out there. And Dennis Schroeder gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Now that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Then McLemore, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And a switcher also for Denver. Porter's checked in. Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Schroeder. Jokic a screen. Murray kicks to Jokic for the lead. Rebound by Harrell. Harrell's got three rebounds so far in the game. Feeds to James. 
over to the left wing. Gasol dishes to LeBron. Over Porter. Again, James missing. Nuggets trail. Murray kicks to Rivers. For the tie. And the layup is up and in. Rivers has got four points in the quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. On the wing, James. He dishes it to Gasol. Back to LeBron. Trying to get back on track. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got eight rebounds in this game. Wide open look here for Murray. And that misses. That would have put him up. L.A. has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Schroeder outside. Gasol kicks it over to Schroeder. Gasol a scream. In the corner, it's James. Over Porter. Here's Gasol. Whistle on the play. Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And he knows how to make good use of his size in that low block. And Gasol's inside game is very refined. There's a, there's a smoothness to how he approaches it. For Los Angeles, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5-of-5 five five in that department. And the Nuggets making a change here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Jokic. Wash comes in for Aaron Gordon. Will Barton, he's checked in for Austin Rivers. And Morris subbed in for Murray. That one misses for Gasol. And Chris, you were the number one overall draft pick back in 1993. We've seen a lot of greats taken with that pick, but it also seems that those number one picks who aren't as successful face a lot of pressure, a lot of criticism. There's a lot on your plate to handle. Can you talk about that for us? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, pressure uh, for some players being the number one pick. But I, I've always laughed and I've thought about you know players that maybe people say maybe they were a bust, maybe this player wasn't good. Well, I, I think you should go back and look at the GM that picked them. I mean, the GM is the guy that assesses talent, you know. So when uh, there were a few players that were picked number one, and many players said, "What are you doing? We've played against him. We would never pick him number one." So before that, I think the NBA is about opportunity and situation. Look at a guy like Chauncey Billups. He went to Boston. He didn't do well at Boston. They called him a Malcontent said he couldn't play, and then he ended up being one of the best leaders uh, that the game had. And so this game is all about situation and opportunity. Can you find the right fit? That's why if you're a player, you can't let frustration get to you. You have to continue to work hard, continue to prove your game, because when you play, you're auditioning for the other teams in the league as well. They're saying, wait a minute, we see his unique his talent skills, and we see his unique skill set, and we could use him. And so many times, uh, you just have to wait for the right position, the right situation. Morris passes to Barton. Morris outside. Bosch, that's for two. And the jumper falls for him. Bosch has got it all tied up now for Denver. But you know what? Sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession. And it's Davis at the elbow. And they double up Davis to the paint. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And the Lakers lead by two. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Porter, no luck. Los Angeles has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Pass to Kuzma. the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Bosch, that's the pick for Morris. Bosch, high post. Left side, Porter. On the wing, Morris. Back to Porter. It's stolen by Davis. Matthews against Porter. Back to Matthews. Pass to Davis. 
Lakers working the ball around now. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Los Angeles shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. So he gets them both. Well, the Lakers are undergoing a dramatic change of leadership in the front office last season. I mean, I think many felt that a change was needed. We'll see if they can turn things around. Morris kicks to Porter from the baseline. Jump shot is good that time. Porter's got eight points. Why did he go to the leaner there? It wasn't a defender in sight, but he certainly shot that in rhythm. Davis sets a screen. Out. One fifty-eight left in the third. Puts it up from 12. The shot's good from Gasol. Gasol's got eight here in the quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Morris kicks to Porter. And it's Denver scoring again. Oh, simple screen, but there was a defensive mix-up that left the man wide open. Outside, Davis. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Craig from his one-and-done season at Kentucky, leading college basketball in block shots. We knew Anthony Davis could dominate defensively, but did you have any idea he'd be this good offensively? None. I mean, well, I mean, with his length and athleticism, you knew he'd have an impact as a finisher. But the way his shooting has developed, it has been remarkable. Now, granted, this was a guy that at one point was recruited to play point guard coming out of high school, but... He's playing more like a shooting guard with his skill set. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. The feed to Drummond. Outside, Davis. Shot clock at six. Good from the moment it left his hand. That makes him 10 for 14. As dangerous as he is inside, Davis gives opponents nightmares when he's able to get to the mid-range. He's very reliable when he steps back and takes the jump shot. Here's Barton. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. If a floater, it's not going to go for him. Great D that time from Davis. A frustrating start to this quarter for him. Passes to Drummond. Over in the corner, Matthew. Over Porter. Hits the front of the rim and out. The Nuggets trail by eight. He kicks to McGee. And here is Murray. He feeds it to Porter. Davis with some nice D. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. Back right after this. Moments ago from the huddle, let's listen in on Coach Mike Malone. Stay positive. Don't get down. We got a lot of time left. We're going to win the game. We are... Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up. 2K Sports, happy to have you with us. Los Angeles leading by eight. We've got Caldwell Pope. Davis is out there with Matthews. Then there's Andre Drummond. That's the Laker five. Matthews dishes to Davis. Yep, it counts. Davis has got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Lakers. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. It's Barton on the wing. That one's good. The Laker lead has cut back down to eight. Those were necessary points from Bosch. And just great offensive execution by both sides, leaving nothing on the table. Well, yeah, you want to save your best for last. The guys on these teams know that. Matthews, no one around him. It's good from long range. And the Lakers lead by 11. And he is not shy about pulling the trigger from downtown. Matthews has the eye and the confidence from three-point range that you just love to see. 
Murray with it. He's picked up by Drummond. And here's Millsap from the arc. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Uh, okay. We got a nice little back and forth going here. And I love it, Greg. Both sides inflicting damage from the perimeter. We'll see how the defense is adjusting. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. From 12 feet out. And there's Davis. That's good on the assist by Caldwell Pope. And that's 28 points for Anthony Davis. Barton against Caldwell Pope. Right side, Millsap. And again, Denver with the triple. He is taking smart shots out there and knocking them down. Outstanding work from the three-point line so far. Over in the corner, Matthews. And it's Matthews again missing. The Nuggets trail by seven. In the corner, Murray with it. It's up a three. Hands it from downtown. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Outside, Matthews. Davis sets a screen. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. It had been a while since his last turnover. He has played very solid ball up until that point. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for the Nuggets. The Nuggets have gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. Murray kicks to Millsap. And Davis sends it back. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Here's Murray. The shot will not fall. Great D that time from Dennis Schroeder. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. On the wing, James. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got his eighth assist in the game. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Bosch, a screen on Schroeder. Now here's Murray. He's guarded closely. This is the box. Davis with some nice D. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. The dish to Schroeder. To the middle. He's looking for Drummond and finds him. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. A different look for Denver. Jokic comes in for Chris Bosh. And it's Austin Rivers in for Will Barton. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Mike Malone had some words for his team during the break. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. We've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Here's Schroeder. Jokic grabs the miss. Gordon against James. Gordon kicks to Murray for the three. He doesn't hit that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Davis against Milson. The pass to LeBron. Davis setting the pick for James. They set the pick. Davis sets a screen. Doesn't go either for Schroeder. The Nuggets trail by eight. Now here's Murray. And there's the call on Andre Drummond. That's foul number two for him. Here's Murray. Jokic a screen. Rivers with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Five on the clock. He'll zap a screen on Drummond. Off the pick. Well, you can tell the shooters are nervous when Drummond is close by. He is so skilled at getting his hand up when shots are being released. Schroeder passes to James. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. He'll zap a screen. 
Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Schroeder. Murray kicks to Jokic. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. For three, Murray, a three-pointer is right on target. You can tell he's getting a feel for his shot in the second half. Los Angeles leading by seven. Schroeder kicks to Caldwell Pope. Feeds it to LeBron. Millsap with the steal. Rivers against Caldwell Pope. Rivers dishes to Murray. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. And the three off target. He's not the only one to blame for them being behind, but he hasn't helped their cause much. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Los Angeles making a switch here. Gasol's checked in. The Nuggets trail by seven. Now Murray. Millsap a screen on Gasol. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Jokic has got 28. And, and he's been the key for their offense with the way he shot the basketball. Well, he's been lights out all game. No one can deny that, but I'm not sure his efforts will be enough to get his team to win. Hits the three-point bomb. Oh, and that's his second three-point of this half. I mean, he's really cooking now. For Denver, they've gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Now here's Murray. Tight defense on him. Kicks to Rivers. Pass to Jokic. Down to five on the shot clock. Millsap misses. And, and they continue to control the glass. Gordon against James. Davis with a screen on Gordon. LeBron kicks to Davis. Stolen by Gordon. And now, here comes Gordon leading the break. Murray, good. Have to respect the range of Murray. He just nails shots from this distance. LeBron kicks to Gasol. To the inside. Davis, good. And the assist goes to Gasol. 30 points for Davis. Well, this is a different ball game without his scoring. He's been Mr. Reliable at the offensive end. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. He dishes it to Rivers. Pass to Murray. From deep. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Schroeder, left side. The feed to Gasol. Back to Schroeder. Caldwell Pope on the wing. And another three for the Lakers. And Caldwell Pope, a solid shooter, and I think he'll only get better with time. Murray with it. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Down low, here's James, and finished off by LeBron. Oh, I love seeing James take over the game. I mean, a ferocious score who can flat out light it up. The Nuggets trail by 12. Denver calls timeout. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup. And for the players, this is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Murray dishes to Millsap. Rivers kicks to Jokic. Banked in off the glass. Jokic has got 30. Lakers leading by 10. Here's the screen. 
Carter kicks to Gasol. LeBron James on the wing. And the officials call a traveling violation. The Nuggets trail by 10. Here's Murray. Passes it to Jokic. Over Davis. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got 11 rebounds in the game. Schroeder outside. Back to Davis. Caldwell Pope outside. He kicks to Gasol. Five to shoot. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You gotta protect the rim. Well, that takes physical ability, good timing, those two things that he possessed. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. good from Schroeder and Denver has possession trailing by 13 Murray the pass to Gordon here's Jokic finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out Jokic has got six here in this quarter now he's doing what he can do to dig them out of this hole but I think he's gonna have to turn it up even more Caldwell Pope kicks to Davis there's the pick. It's Schroeder, top of the key. In the corner, it's James. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Lakers. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Anthony Davis. Well, the best work he did came on the boards. Nobody could match his intensity. His rebounding played a big role in this win. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Gasol dishes to Schroeder. That one, no good. Gordon goes in. No coverage that time. But see, he has the talent to do more of this. Take command of the offense. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks. Mark, the team seems to really have a good rhythm going. What's been the key to success? We're working. You know, we, we, uh, we um, sacrificing for each other. I think we, uh, we're doing a better job on that. And, you know, uh, we don't get much practice, but we're getting, uh, we're getting good work in. Yeah, you don't get a lot of time to practice during the season, but it's not showing up on the court. You guys are playing great. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.